Hello everyone, no oh, welcome on back to Survival Challenge. So first things first, I think it is the day to move chickens. They're down to 500 liters, but if we wait another day, they're going to have no food. And I don't really want that, obviously, too. So we're going to buy the cage. It's animals, right? Nope. Miscellaneous? No, animals transport. That would make sense. We'll have to head up there with the field boss. Obviously, it's the front loader tractor, so gonna be having to do that job. We do have what one field to harvest. We can get it replanted. Two fields to spray. I think that's about everything. We'll obviously get the the new pen filled up with food too as soon as we can. As soon as we need to. I have been looking at some uh, bale storage sheds too. Like I said, I would. There's some good options. I don't, I don't uh, have any of them downloaded yet. I was just glancing. Yeah, one thing I did notice is uh, we were talking about putting the mayonnaise production where the chicken pen is currently, where the chickens are. That is going to be one long distance to bring eggs over. I'm pretty sure I've seen it where there's an option or a mod where animal products automatically get moved to a production or there's an option for it. I couldn't find that mod though, so if anybody knows if there is one, let me know. I'm pretty sure there is, but I couldn't seem to find it, so maybe it's not there anymore. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, if there is one, let me know and what the name is or something so I can try and find it. If it's on Mod Hub. Try to na narrow it down for me at least a little bit. Pretty sure it exists, just not sure where. Because that would be really nice in this situation. Either way, it still makes the most sense to put the Manny's production up there. It's kind of where we already have little bit of room trying to get this on there nice and straight and I still failed at that dang it <laughs> I'll take a nice drive down back to the, the farm it would be nice if there was one just for this situation mainly you know the sheep aren't too bad because they're right next to each other bringing them over once a day or you know once a month, it's not too bad. All right, so let's get these moved over. I'm not 100% sure on the exact way I got this to work last time. Can we just do it like this? I'm assuming not. Oh, there we go. Okay. We'll move that over and we'll move all of these. 60 to at a time, of course. Pretty sure there's a mod to increase that. I just, I've never really seen a reason to worry about that. Only 180. I thought it said 300 in there, but got all of the chickens. We got the rooster right there. I moved the eggs and everything earlier, so those are out of the way. I probably won't do the, you know, start the mayonnaise production quite yet. I'll look more for that mod too. And maybe, if I can't find it, maybe I'll look to place it closer. So let's get them moved. There we go. Trying to find the trigger for it. Sometimes it's not in the actual location where it shows it is. So 
Real. We're up to 150 in there, which is obviously all we can have for now. We're probably running around thinking, dang, we got all kinds of room. Now if only we had food. I'm going to go and do that real quick. We'll get them some food. Then I'll have to take the cage back up and uh, get it sold. I might be wrong when I say all of it should fit in here, but I'm pretty sure the capacity is a lot. It is 500 chickens, so I would hope you can put a lot in here. Almost all of it. Almost. Not all, but... Oh, well, yeah. 25,000 liters, so that'll be a while it'll last them. Alright, so let's go get this sold. I'm hoping for 1500 Obviously, I don't, we're not going to get that back, but that is what we spent on it, so. Okay, so the condition is quite bad for the front loader. That's what's holding it back by so much. So we get 1300 It'll cost us, what, 180 bucks to do that, basically. Repair this, and I'll repair this. There we go. Finally looking pretty good. Again. Now I'll uh, I'll drive back and then we can probably get started on the harvest and then we have the spraying. I'm thinking we can get the barley field replanted this month fairly easily too. Uh, probably back into bar barley if I'm honest. I'm trying to build up a stockpile of that, so. Alright, so we can park that there, and we can run on over to the combine. Well, we have herbicide in this? Okay. I was just thinking, because I might do one time lapse and do all of that in one, so. Because it won't take very long for all of this to to be done so and get the combine unfolded get that lowered and fired up I don't plan on doing straw not going to be worth it financially I don't think It's just not a ton of money, and I think uh, where we are at right now financially, we don't need it. And where we are going financially, I don't think we'll need the 15, 20 grand that badly. It was nice when uh, we had no money, but now it's not a huge priority to do. I'd uh, much rather spend time doing, you know, something else that might make us more money. With all the productions we got going on, there's plenty of things that make quite a bit more money for us. Well, like I said, I think I'll go ahead and do a time lapse, so we'll finish up the barley field here. We can probably get started into some spraying, so I'll uh, talk to everyone uh, once the time lapse is done.
So we're just about done here for the spring. Then we can uh, go in and get that field replanted right away. Probably, like I said, to barley. We start getting a nice big stockpile going of that. Then honestly, we don't have a ton going on right now. Like the last last month was the same way. There wasn't a ton going on. That's part of the reason why I expanded, um, expanded the grass field. Because I was like, well, I don't have a ton going on. You could easily get it done. Oh, we, we might go to the next month, maybe get like that field sprayed or something. Um, even then, I think next month we have one harvest. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. <laughs> we have a ton of fields, but uh, surprisingly not a lot going on f with them. And before I forget, I should sell that one chicken pen. One here. 1800 bucks. Like I said, I'm not going to place the mayonnaise production quite yet. I'm going to do a little look, looking for that one mod that, that I brought up earlier. And kind of just maybe look at it too. Oh, mainly just look at <laughs> I can find that mod. I'm not too concerned looking up, you know, how many eggs go into one liter or anything like that. That's not really a big concern to me. Yeah, obviously, it's a <laughs> you want to make sure you're going to make a lot of money from it, but still, it's not a top thing. We can find out if it's a bad deal together. Maybe it makes more sense to do, you know, canola oil through it instead of olive oil. I think olive oil is a little bit more money, actually, right? For selling. Yeah, canola is a lot less. It's almost half. Almost, not quite. But maybe canola oil would make more sense than olive oil. It might also be figured in there where it's going to use less olive oil or more, yeah, less for the pricing re difference. To try to balance it out for its, you know, same cost. Even uh, spraying this field uh, takes very, very little time. Maybe I'll fill up the sheep's water a little bit more too. I haven't filled it up since I put the first 20,000 20, liters in there. It was it 25? I think I only put one full thing in there, so probably 20? I think it's a 20,000 liter tank. I might buy a few more sheep, too. We're at 60. So I might bring it to uh, 100. Just so we have a little bit more in there. We'll hit the, the capacity a lot quicker that way, too. I'll buy some lambs. Some young ones. Well, that did not take very long at all. I think that one field out there is actually canola oil, too. So if we get the production going and we find out, yeah, that's, you know, the same amount of olive oil and canola oil, um, then we'll, well, we'll probably use olive oil at the start only and then eventually switch to using only canola once we have some canola oil. At least I'm assuming that's all um, canola. But I don't think it's uh, sorghum. Yeah. The sorghum would already, already be ready by now. So I think this field's been, been growing for a while. Canola is like 10 months. 12 months for growth. Yeah, this field here is ready next time. Soybean field. 
fairly good timing because obviously June is high price time for soybeans. I think we have uh, clothing to sell next month too. Yeah, supposed to be higher next month. Yeah, it's starting to go up. The pepper grinders, I think this price might be a little off, by the way. It shows $3,450 as the max. Yet I go and look in here and it shows almost 3600 so I'm assuming we could hit that that price in July. That's what I'm assuming. They're, they're a fairly good price all the time, but kind of what I'm seeing there. Of course, we can fill this down here now since I've learned about this. Why I couldn't have learned about this a lot sooner, I don't know. A lot easier when there's branches to go in first person usually in the cab. Otherwise it's all you see is branches. This will put them in a even better position than we won't need. Any water for a very long time. I don't know when uh, the olive oil is for max price too. I think it's like May or June. We do have quite a quite a bit there, so I'm looking to sell it. Should all fit in there? Yeah, I figured. We'll drop that. Um, do we know how much they can hold? Yeah, 50,000 liters, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna buy, uh, buy some more, more sheep. Probably 34 to hit, uh, hit the number. So we'll do eight of each. I like to buy all all the different uh, different ones. Keeps the pen looking well, fresh, I guess. Cause we don't just all have one color sheep. And chickens. I'd be curious. What are they are for production? There's zero percent right now. I'm gonna hold off on chickens right now, but. Cause I think once they get uh, max health and everything, which will take a little bit as they're in a fresh pen, uh, they should reproduce fairly quickly after, I think. I mean, it shows zero, obviously, but if they do reproduce, it'll fill start filling the pen fairly quick. So, all right. So I think I'll uh, I'll go to the next month. We can get that field sprayed for weeds. Then, like I said, surprisingly, we don't have a ton going on the last last month and this month. Kind of surprised. I'll just turn this off too. All right. Well, it looks like our property income is less than what uh, um, it costs us now. See if there's anything nice in here. Front loader? It does have one. We could get an upgrade there. We don't have to decide now because this will be a next month thing. This would be an upgrade over the Deutzvar, too.
But again, do we need it? This is a front loader hunt. I don't know if we really need the extra horsepower though, so maybe we might have some new tractors next month. Oh, new to us. It wouldn't be bad to get, you know, a fresh front loader tractor. This is 287 horse, so definitely could could be more, but it's supposed to rain here shortly too, I see. But maybe, maybe. Out of all of them, the, the John Deere would make the most sense. Because we, we'd have the extra horsepower then. But I also, I do love the Deutzfahr. I really do. Every time I use the Deutzfahr tractor, I end up just falling in love with it. You know, obviously the top speed is great. It's just all around a great tractor, really. Especially this one, obviously, great horsepower, pulls everything we need. I've always liked the color. I, I do. This color green, in my personal opinion, is better than John Deere green. Hot take, I know. John Deere green looks good, but... Just personal preference. The shade of green. This is kind of a... Slightly lighter green would be the way to put it. Don't uh, don't go after me on that one, but the John Deere one's iconic. It really is. But everybody knows they see that color. They're like, oh yeah, we know that's John Deere green. Even someone who doesn't know tractors probably knows. <laughs> I might buy some more solo panels, I think, too. Because the whole goal with the one small one I have was to uh, try to basically make it so the income and the costs were about the same. We weren't having a huge cost every month. Which, it's not too bad now. It's like 400 bucks. certainly take a look but yeah we might have something new maybe Do any of these have narrows on it as an option yes it does the most likely one would, would be this though it's tempting because it is an extra 100 horse maybe Oh, I, I forgot to, to do the re the reason I was in there in the first place was uh, put some more solar panels down. So we have one of these, right? Or is it a wind turbine down? Somewhere on this hill. Here it is. Yeah, we have one of those. Couldn't put a, a, a small wind energy converter back here too. On the hill would be a fairly good place, I would think, for, for wind. We'll never actually see it, but... And I will put another one of these down here as well. There we go. Obviously, we have more... You know, Things with lighting and stuff, so realistically, you probably want more solar panels, which you'd probably want more than that for just one building, dang near, because that's not gonna get you that much, I wouldn't think. I wouldn't think so. I might be, I might be wrong on that, but yeah, I think, I think that's probably about everything for today. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll think on the the tractors. I got a week to think about them. I record this again, so. And I'll, you know, look for the mod, 
that I brought up earlier, the animal products direct to productions. I'll see if I can find it. Pretty sure it exists, just I'm not sure where. <laughs> That's what it feels like, at least right now. I've looked for it. Um, yeah, so thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you in the next video. Bye.